That's a bad one. It's a bad one. <laughs> wow. That's a bad one, Stu. Uh, of course, uh, waking up here on a Tuesday morning last week of 2021, and I was just looking back, Dave, at this point last year, we were actually talking about the chance for some winter weather. Uh, not so much the case this morning, though, as we continue to track some wet weather and some fairly mild temperatures. Uh, some showers right now out across parts of Jefferson County, Mount Vernon, picking up on some light rain as these showers continue to lift to the north. A few more showers to the south, especially across parts of western Kentucky, heading into the Mayfield area. Area and Clinton, Kentucky also seen some showers just south of East Prairie. Get ready. That's heading your way. This is all tracking to the north this morning. It's a warm front lifting to the north and a live view over uh, Metropolis, Illinois. There's the Ohio River there in the distance. Currently temperature outside 51 degrees and we have quite a range already in the region as far as temperatures go. Mount Vernon right now in the lower 40s. Meanwhile, Metropolis in the lower 50s and we have some very warm air just to our south. As the warm front lifts to the north, we'll start to see some of those temperatures creep up, especially in some of our southern counties here later on this morning. A rainy day and overall fairly mild for the most part. Uh, some of our northern counties may be a little cooler, but as that warm front lifts to the north, a lot of us are going to see that warm, humid air return back into our forecast. Another wave of wet weather expected on Wednesday and a chance for even a couple stronger storms by late Wednesday afternoon, especially in the parts of northwest Tennessee. Thursday, finally a dry day, but that is a short lived break from some of the rain. Warm front still to our North Memphis, Tennessee right now at 66 degrees. Poplar Bluff at 51. Uh, St. Louis right now at 42 and farther to the north. Uh, Springfield, Illinois at 39. Kansas City also at 42 degrees. And you can see the wet weather out ahead of the warm front developing right along the uh, Kentucky-Tennessee line lifting to the north. And more rain than also out across parts of central Missouri. A lot of that heavier rain is going to stay just to our north. Move through parts of the St. Louis metro area and parts of central Illinois. But uh, you get the idea. We are going to be dodging a lot of raindrops through the day today pack along the umbrella this morning. Notice temperatures at lunchtime starting to warm back up into the lower 60s, especially along the uh, Route 13 corridor. Some of us uh, actually may struggle to get out of the 40s in some of our northern counties. Uh, notice though into western Kentucky, well, temperatures there into the upper 60s. So a big range from north to south. Once again, it's all going to depend on how far north that warm front makes it. This is actually another cold front moving in from the west that will bring another band of showers through late this afternoon and another cool down as well into the overnight hours by about 7 p.m. Most of the rain starting to exit we will start Wednesday dry, but another wave on the way by Wednesday afternoon, and that's that front lifting back to the north. So notice Wednesday afternoon, upper 40s in our northern counties, 60s once again in our southern counties near the Tennessee Kentucky line. That's going to be the area that we could see a couple stronger storms late Wednesday afternoon through the early part of the evening hours. And the uh, Storm Prediction Center now highlighting that area of western Kentucky, the Missouri Boot Hill, and a level one. And and that level two actually now starting to just creep into northwest Tennessee, Martin, Tennessee, and that level two isolated damaging winds possible with any stronger storms. Once again, this is going to stay south of the Ohio River, likely going to be focused in two parts of West Tennessee. Rainfall amounts there with the strongest storms will also be the heaviest out across southern Illinois. Most of the rain will be pretty light quarter of an inch to a half an inch of rain on average for most folks here over the next couple of days. Thursday brings a break from the rain, but by Friday, that's of course New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve evening brings another chance for some wet weather and that continues into Saturday. Right now it looks like most of the severe weather on Saturday will stay just to our south. Storm Prediction Center including the Missouri Boot Hill, Northwest Tennessee and an outlook there. Something of course we'll continue to track as we get a little closer. Make sure you've got that Storm Track 3 app staying up to date with the latest forecast. Thursday, well, it's one of the lone dry days here over the next uh, five or six. A lot of wet weather in store for us for Saturday on New Year's Day and then the big cool down arrives. We could be talking by Sunday morning wind chills well back into the teens, a lower 20s for actual temperatures there, maybe even a few snowflakes mixed in through the day on Sunday as well. And then uh, by Monday morning, we're back with actual temperatures hovering about 20 degrees sunshine, but temperatures there during the afternoon only in the lower 40s. All right, thanks for that, Nick.